Many of you like the videos that we are doing. You appreciate the content. Well, because you do so, click the like button. And then you want to continue to get these videos coming your way. Well, it's good to press that subscribe button. And if you really want to get that information right as it is released, and then press that notification button. Looking forward to seeing you again. Take care until next video. Hi everyone, we have a very interesting topic to discuss today. Yeah, and uh, we are talking about flirting. Yeah, flirting. We want to talk about that, uh, that topic today. You know, so many folks have done it. Um, they hardly have anybody who can really honest with this. I've not done it. I myself, in, uh, during my youth, uh, I would have done a lot of that. And, um, yeah, so we're going to talk about it whether or not it's right or wrong. Uh, what are the plus or minus? You know, let's just, just look at it and talk about it. Uh, so be, before we begin, we just want to go into a word of prayer. Uh, so pray with me. Father in heaven, we are thankful for every opportunity we can invite your presence into our hearts and our lives to direct us as to the way we should go. So please be that direct even now we pray as we enter upon such a very important time we pray in Jesus name. Amen and Amen. Yes, so we are talking about flirting and um, as I said before, I mean if you want to be very honest with each other, uh, most of us would have done it at least I mean, several times in our lives. So what is flirting? Uh, flirting is about giving out um, signals. Um, body language, and even even in the, it's the way we speak, and um, that kind of sensual way of of, of of selling ourselves to others, uh, giving them the impression that we have some kind of romantic interest in them of some sort. And um, so when we when we go about it that way, people uh, there are those who will be attracted to us and what we are seeking to to sell. And they are, they are most willing, many of them are willing to purchase and to buy. So many of us, you know, would have the way we dress, the way we walk, the way we carry about ourselves in the front of certain people that we may have some little attraction to. Sometimes we really don't have any attraction to, but we, we just like the attention that it brings. And it makes us feel so, so good about ourselves that, that we are good looking, that we are sharp, that we are smart, that we are elegant that you know it when when you leave after an episode of flirting and you who did flirt you walk away feeling you know a certain sense of uh, yeah good you know and I mean it produces a, a good feeling but but let, when, when we look at it and we examine it carefully for the most part uh, flirting really affects both persons the person who is the flirter and the person now who is yielding um, to the emotions of this person who is flirting. You see, in one instance, the person who is flirting um, really doesn't have any serious intention of having a relationship with that person in the first place. Uh, they don't see themselves as having anything long term. And um, some flirters are serious flirters. You know, yeah, so you have different degrees of, 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 of flirting. So you have those who just in it, but they um, they are not getting into the physical. They are not getting into anything physical. They just like the attention, and um, and they just to see your head spinning and turning, and and they can smile about it, and and they get a, a, a rush out of that, and, and that's about it. And they go on to the next victim, and then there are others now at the you know second stage. They who they are interested now, they may they may touch, you know, a little caressing. Um, they may reach as far as a little kiss or something, but it, that is as far as it goes. But they still get some kind of adrenaline rush out of that, and um, haven't tasted it. You know, it's like cocaine. You know, you sniff that drug and it, you know you want that rush again, so you keep always going back for another rush um, to. to you know, to keep your day going. And every day, you, you know, you get up in the morning, 
you, you dress in mind for that. You already have in mind who you want to flirt with. And then there are those of us, in spite of, um, well, not those of us, let me, let me correct that. Then there are those who would now, you know, they will flirt with anybody. Anybody. They go to the restaurant, they will flirt. Uh, they, they go to the market, they will flirt. They go to the store, they will flirt with the clerk. They go to the car wash, they will flirt with the attendant. They go. It's just a nice way of the, you know, feeling good about themselves where people could, you know, say you're looking good or something about you. And then there are those who really get into it seriously physical. And um, oftentimes it would lead to intercourse, some kind of sexual relation. And um, after that, of course, they move on to somebody else. But while all of that is being done, of, of course, both prisoners, as I said before, are affected somewhere in the Yeah, because um, let's just say it's a guy. And you know, we guys have a way of saying that we always picking on the guy. You know, because women flirt too. All right, and I don't have the statistics as to who float more between male or female. All right, but as far as I know, both float. So I'm just using uh, the, the man. So in the case of the man, and um, he is an experienced flirter. And uh, this young lady that he, he comes across don't know that she of herself um, is an experienced flirter. And both of them now are playing, and you know, and I think they have a show called Two Can Play This Game. So both of them are playing each other. Now that is risky. That's very risky. Because uh, they would have to take it up a notch further with each other to get any level of effectiveness taking place today. And that um, level of interaction can lead into one really having sex. And, um, and all, albeit one of the parties may not be heading in that direction. Because it, once, once you play with, with fire, you're entitled to get blown. And, but then there are a, another case where this guy could be, you know, flirting with someone who has been broken who have been hurt by others before and um, wanting and see this person who's coming across very genuine. Guy Flutter is not a fool. He, he, I mean, he has a level of wisdom or her. And so when they come across, I mean, the, the first time you approach somebody, if you're not good at what you're doing, um, they could dismiss you quickly. So you have to have some kind of uh, convincibility in you for somebody. And so when you come across that convincing as somebody who's genuine and somebody uh, and this person now who sh shows you interest in return when she shows you that interest but she came from a place where she was broken and um, men didn't treat her right and she would have seen the same thing happen with her friends same thing happen with her relatives her own family her mother or what have you eventually when two three men approach her in that way and really didn't look for anything meaningful or substantial out of that interaction it breaks people and sometimes it destroys people for life you have some people who would really say i don't have nothing to do with men you know um i've heard people say that <clears throat> it have no good man i don't experience even while being a pastor i had this group of young people and um, I was operating a Christian radio station and at that level too we would plan concerts and all kind of events and I could recall um, we had a meeting, we had a general meeting and some new people came to the meeting and uh, that meeting would consist of approximately 60 persons sometime in that meeting uh, to just young people just pulling off you know, major concerts and events with the radio station. So I'm getting to know some some folks. So I I am the person who is joining the meeting and I said, hey folks, let's let's get to know each other. And um, we shared a little about ourselves, our name, and that. So we were doing that. And then you know I felt it even nice for us to go around and shake each other's hand and say welcome and what. And here is me. Um, approaching uh, a woman she has children she has daughters I, I approached her 
I mean, it's a Christian fellowship thing going on here, and I reached out my hand to shake her hand, and she didn't take my hand. And she just looked at looked at me, and imagine all these folks looking at at me. I, I mean, I'm feeling really embarrassed as to them. And she 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 made it clear. She don't shake my hand. She just don't shake my hand. And and so it's someone like that. Who, who now, after some time, who wants to open up and may see somebody like an experienced filter. And when he comes around her and she decides now that I want to, I, yeah, let me just try and take a chance with this person. And such a person you could really crush. And for somebody to reach where, where, she's, where she's at, or was at the time, she had to have had you know, some serious bad experiences with, with, with somebody in terms of uh, her encounter. So it does have long-lasting effects on people. Uh, so and and um, so when a, when a guy flirts, um, people see him as a player. And uh, what that does for him, however, it really devalues his currency. Yeah? Because even later on, when he wants to to get some somebody to become his wife, somebody of really of real virtue. And come from a good home, a good family background, um, really has it all together. That kind of young lady that he's interested in had to come from a home that really had high ideas and values and would have invested a lot into that young lady and expecting that she would get somebody equal in attitude and, and, and outlook of, of life on life. And so they would be very particular as to who uh, their daughter chooses to be her life partner. And if they recognize is that same guy that in their mind is a very uh, is a player, there's hardly likely any two serious parents in a home or one to be a single parent family going to say, hey, um, guys don't see man. Yeah, I mean, you know, you could go ahead. No, because she's thinking all kinds of stuff. So it's going to be using her daughter. You may have sex with her daughter because you have more experience out here in doing these things. And uh, you may not, you, you truly wouldn't make a good husband. You could have venereal diseases. You could come with all kinds of, you're coming with a lot of baggage. So as far as they're concerned, no, they, they, they want to. All right. And um, now a, a, a young lady who flirts um, in, in every society. A woman who is from one guy to the next and she's flirting and, you know, like a butterfly all over. This year, somebody being promiscuous. And again, no no guy who's coming from a good, well um, home that he was trained well and brought up well. Nobody's going to be recommending somebody to be um, flirting all around who, they, in their mind, they consider to be very promiscuous to form any relationship with, with you. So at the end of the day, you know, when, when you measure it, how much you put into flirting, um, the immediate gratification you get, you get out of it, uh, yeah, it, it makes you feel good. But when you add it up in the long run, it really is not panning out well for you. And for the Christian, and for the most part, um, we are admonished in uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8, Philippians 4, 8, and it says, Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, and certainly certain cannot be true, because you're not honest, you're not, you, you're, you really don't want to be with that person, so it's not true. And whatsoever things are honest and just, is that a just thing that we're doing? Um, does that person we be trifling with their hearts. Is, uh, is that something good to do? Whatsoever things are pure, there's nothing pure about that. Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report. And um, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So I, I'm saying to, to many of us, as, as young people, I'm talking to all young people here, but all people float too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, um, it doesn't have an age for flirt flirting. It doesn't have an age. But of course, you will find um, more people single at a younger age who would have the propensity to, 
to do it more than those who are already committed um, because they are at an older age but even married people married people still now there's another important thing i must say here we cannot now misconstrue every good gesture that someone makes to another as Fulton because too far from the east is west. There are a lot of folks they really um, you, 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 you say good morning in a very nice way to a young lady and she does not know how to receive it. I mean she comes off across you know very standoffish, august piggish and um, dismissive and really and truly, it's just an honest good morning. It has nothing to do with I'm pursuing you, I'm interested in you. And likewise, you know, there are some guys that come across so desperate so that a pretty young lady says good morning to you and all of a sudden that is a signal to say, hey, what's going on? You can track me. That is a signal to say, well, green light. That doesn't mean that. I mean, we could be really good friends and even in, you know, even in church, just some, some of the young ladies wanting to be and to look so pious, to look so holy and look like they are not in that group of girls who come across in this kind of loose way. They come to church, they sit by themselves, they don't talk to men. It happens, you know, it have some young ladies, they are trained not to talk to men. And in, 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 when you portray yourself like that, you are really taking yourself out of the market. Terms of if you want a partner, because people look at you as very standoffish and, and full of yourself, you know, and then you realize but they have a lot of pretty women, they're taking real long to get married. So why somebody haven't taken that business yet? Because I mean, you, you think too much of yourself, you know, you and, 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 and guys feel intimidated, and some they're just not intimidated, they're just not interested in anybody who's stuck up like that. And likewise, to some guys who come across like that, and if they feel they have it all together, they have a good education, they have a good job, they, and they're in church and they want to look like a real holy man of God, they become a deacon, they become a leader, elder in the church, and you feel like they're going to, I want to portray myself in this kind of stiff way. Um, that ain't good enough. You're really just trying to you know, put yourself on a shelf um, longer than you need to. People need to just be able to see each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. So when you watch at a sister, you're not seeing somebody to take advantage of. And when you look at a brother, you're not seeing somebody to take advantage of or somebody who wants to take advantage of you. When you look and interact with each other as male and female young people, you're supposed to line together, have fun together, and then you're interacting with each other, eventually you'll start to see um, this person getting drawn closer to that one and that one getting those are drawn to the other and relationships start to form and develop there that can lead to something that is long lasting. But let the environment always remain something of free flowing brotherly love and a high is a high and a hello is a hello and it doesn't have to mean anything. So in total I just want to say um, flirting, I mean I don't think um, we should engage in such, um, just be nice with each other and maintain integrity as we go and sooner or later that which is supposed to happen will happen whatever is supposed to work out for us by the grace of God it will work out and always think as a man or a woman that um, while I'm single now and I'm, um, I feel I could flirt try and put yourself in a, in a frame of mind that um, if, if, if I'm married and I have kids uh, do I want someone to be doing that to my children? And of course, the answer is no. You don't want anybody to try to get them to the children's side. So, um, act now what you want to be then, you know? So, thank you and um, God's blessings for spending this time with me on the topic of flirting. So, we're going to pray now. Father in heaven, we thank you, O oh God, that your word is here as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our heart. I pray that you would guide us. And they will continue, dear Father, to abide in you so that you would inform our actions each day we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care. To contribute to this ministry, check the description below.